Hi, Peter Bobbin here, tax team, national law firm, Rockwell Olivier. And we're just talking about some ways of managing tax controversy. Here, the one I wanted to raise with you is the objection. The importance of getting objections to tax assessments in. What we're looking at is where the tax office has under, undertaken a review of any form and they've come out with an assessment. Moving and acting on the objection. It's important that objections are expressed in the widest of possible terms so as to enable the ability, should it, the objection fail, to enable the ability for that to subsequently be appealed, whether it's to the Federal Court or the Administrative Appeals Tribunal. Getting the objection right is about putting the information to the tax office because you will find that the issue will be passed to a new person in the tax office for them to make a new decision on that earlier assessment. That's the time to put the information forward. Um, getting as much of the information right, correct, into the objection, but importantly getting it in on time, but expressing it in a way which can keep open those appeal rights. This is very important where the size of the tax debt is rather large, and not only is there a need to, to, to manage the tax controversy issue itself, but also the ability for the tax office to collect on that debt. Take care with the drafting of objections. Thank you.